Hey and welcome to the video. This is Daniel with Menu Hackers and today I'm doing a video on why I quit keto and it might not be what you think. So I'll show you what I'm doing instead. But I don't want to trash keto for trashing keto's sake. Uh, keto works very well for some and for me it did work as well but I ended up hitting a lot of plateaus and I found keto to be expensive, complicated and not really necessary. But if you're doing keto right now and it's working for you, great, just continue doing it. But if you find that it's costing you too much money for the ingredients or you, you find it complicated or hard to follow along or you're hitting plateaus over and over again, um, what I'm doing now might be more suited to you. Um, and before we start, you know, let's start where, um, where I started with keto. That was in 2018. I had just seen my doctor and he told me that uh, I was obese. My BMI was in the obese classification. I was pre-diabetic at this time and that I needed to lose weight. And when I asked him what to do, he told me to eat less. Um, we didn't discuss anything else. I said anything about sugar or this or that. I said, no, no, just eat less. Now, I had done that the years before. I went on low calorie diets and I would lose weight, but after a few months, I would lose willpower and get it back. I tried juicing, I tried uh, shakes, boot camps, a lot of stuff. And it worked for a couple of months, but eventually it failed. And I was afraid keto would do that for me as well, where I would get great results and fail, but I ended up being keto for an entire year. Uh, in 2018, I saw a video uh, from a guy named Bob. Bob had a video called uh, Butter Makes Your Pants Fall Off. And it was a great title. And when I watched it, I realized two things. One, Bob did exactly what I wanted to do. He was obese and he reaches ideal goal. And two, he did that eating foods that I liked. When he was telling me what he was eating, I thought, this is what I want to do. And... Um, he didn't do keto. He was more almost almost carnivore at that point. So I didn't follow his advice. I went keto. I bought the books and I followed the recipes and I bought the keto strips. I bought, bought the scales with the, um, the fat percentage calculator on it, everything. And I did that for a year. Now during that year, um, I hit a lot of plateaus. Some lasted months, uh, but I went through it because my goal was or my focus was not on how much I lost but can I keep it going for an entire year and I was disappointed but I was just plugging in and the food was uh, okay um I was a lot of my favorite foods was in there but I was trying to do my old favorites with the uh, pizza and pasta and other stuff so I was trying to replace flour with keto stuff and that ended up being uh, uh, never really great I would do it but very um, not often. I wouldn't do it often. And I ended up, you know, losing a lot of food, uh, to spoilage because I bought big bags of almond flour, coconut flour that I didn't use. I ended up throwing that away, nut butters. So it became very expensive and it did work. Uh, the low carb approach, that's what worked. It was not the keto technique. It was not because it was, 10% uh, uh, carbs, 30% fat, and the rest protein. It was just the low carb items. Now, eating more fat kept me full, but after a while, I got sick of eating too much fat, so I dialed it back. So now what I do is I remove every, um, every saying about a food. Is it healthy? I don't care. Is it GMO? Is it organic? Is it grain fed? I don't care. Is it low carb? Yep. Okay. That goes on my menu. Is it high carb? Yep. It's not on my menu. So that way it's easy for me to determine what am I eating? So, you know, if I want to diet Coke, I'll have it because it's got no carbs and I won't have any pasta, no matter how it's made, even if it's uh, kind of a zero carb because they play with the numbers or something. I don't like that food anymore. So I concentrate on the foods I love and the content of carbs to it so it's super easy so i eat a lot of meat vegetables uh, sometimes i'll have fruits and 
as long as I stay under a certain number of carbs, I don't care where it comes from. So I don't have to check if I'm in ketosis or not. I don't have to gorge myself on fat. If I'm hungry, I'll eat some. I'll eat something. So it's not like I'm depriving myself of anything. So now what I did is I hacked my menu down to my favorites. That's it. That's all I eat. Uh, I don't need to have 20 items on, on my menu. I'll eat the same things over and over again because they're my favorites. And I was really surprised when I did Carnivore Month uh, in 2020 for the January. I was eating steaks almost every day and I thought I'd get sick of it. And no, today I still eat a lot of steak because it's my favorite foods. Steak for dinner, steak for breakfast, I'll have it 10, 12, 15 or more times per month. So I really enjoy that. So I eat my favorite foods. I go to restaurants, I eat my favorite foods and I just hack away the parts that I don't want. So if they're serving with a bun, hack away the bun. So it becomes my favorite food and it's low carb and I'm good. So if you're stuck on keto or any other diet that's not serving your, your goals, try this. Try to focus on the foods you love and remove anything carby in there. So if you like burgers, remove the bun. Um, if you like pizza, I like pizza. And now what I do when I want a pizza, I eat what's called a pizza bowl. So I bought uh, aluminum dishes um, from the dollar store. They're really easy. Fill that with cheese, sauce, pepperoni, mushrooms, hot peppers. Stick that in the oven for a few minutes and I get all the flavors without any of the carbs or the excess carbs that comes with the dough. So that's it you know you don't have to be stuck in a brand if you want to do carnivore and eat an apple once in a while go ahead there's no need to be strict to the guidelines except the one that you know where do you want to be in the carbs and we all know low carbs is good so you want to go as low as possible and if you're in a hurry if you want to lose a lot of weight you can go to zero now not every day maybe uh, but a lot of meals you go to zero steak and eggs or steak and you know mushrooms and something like that a meal like that will have zero carbs so you don't have to have carbs with every meal say well I'm gonna stay under you know 10% or 10 grams 15 grams you don't have to say that just go low carb your favorite meals and you'll be good to go so thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comments below thanks bye